Hello friends, welcome to UM Tech channel. This is yet another video in this channel and in this video we are going to discuss about the current transformers and in this our objective is two. First is to see the type of current transformers and the second is to see the cutter of current transformer means that how the current transformer is constructed and actually what the parts is present inside and that video that is we are going to see today and uh, I, I think in most of the YouTube videos I saw and in Google also I searched but no one shows the exact figure of how the current transformer would, li would look like after all the parts is being removed and how the current transformer is made. In this video we are going to see it fully. Don't skip the video, watch it fully so that you will get benefited for each and every minute you see. If you like the video do like, comment, share and subscribe the video and don't forget to press the bell button next to it and select the options to all so that you will receive all the videos where whenever I post the video. Without wasting time we will go on inside. First let me see the outermost cell. This is the current transformer we are going to cut away today and this is the current transformer we are going to break and we are going to explore on what is inside and final part will be like this. This is the actual core and in between this what are all the process involved that we are going to see. So before seeing that let us discuss about what is current transformer and what are the type of current transformers. First a current transformer is a type of a transformer that is used to reduce or multiply an alternating current. It also produces a current in its secondary proportional to the current in its primary. That is a current transformer is a device that is used to step down the current that is flowing in the primary to secondary for the purpose of metering and protections. For example, suppose if I have a CT of ratio 100 bar 5 and in primary 100 amps current is flowing the due to the CT ratio, the secondary will produce a 5 amps current due to CT ratio. If 100 amps current is flowing in the primary, CT will produce 5 amps if the ratio is 100 bar 5 and this 5 amps is taken and it is being fed to, it, it will fed to either uh, meters if it is a metering city or to protective relays if it is a protective protection city. And next what is the voltage transformer? Its function is also same as a current transformer. In current transformer we are reducing the current and fitting, giving it to meter or protection systems. In voltage transformers we will reduce the voltage and we will give it to metering and protection systems. So let us see the types of city. Based upon the construction, cities are divided into three types. First, we are going to see about bone type CT. In this type of CT, both primary and secondary windings will be present and this is used for high voltage systems. You can see here, it is the primary terminals and this is the secondary terminal. Suppose if any main line is coming and that line will come enter through uh, the primary one P1 and will exit through P2 and inside there will be a primary winding and proportional to this current producing in this primary winding second current will be produced in the secondary next is the bar type city in this type of city maximum there will be a single turn winding and in this this bar is called as a primary winding here this will be directly connected to uh, bus bar or cable through bolting so these are the primary terminals and these are the secondary terminals in this case also in previous case there will be a primary winding of multi turns maybe and this in this type there will be a single turn maximum single turn only for primary winding and you can see above there is the secondary terminal next in this type actual cable or bus bar acts as a primary winding which is considered as a single turn normally fixed to the carrying device means by fastness next this is a current transformer and it is called as a toroidal or window type current transformer this is what we are going to explore today and this is the window here, if the, as unlike the bar type CT and wound type CT, it doesn't have a primary winding. Instead, the cable with, for which we are going to measure the current will pass through this hole and it acts as a primary and the above two terminals is called as secondary winding and this is what we are going to use in this type. The only secondary winding will be physically present and primary winding will not be present. In this, the window for cable or bus bar acts as a primary. I explore this uh, current transformer today and as we see, this is a toroidal or window type current transformer of rectangular shape and this is the outermost shell you, you everyone noticed. This is a physical layer, uh, outermost layer we are seeing visually 
and in this there will be terminals s1 and s2 and in this view it is not visible and it will look like this s1 and s2 and inside this inside this outermost shell it will be like this in this case if you can see there will be a core and on that core a insulation cloth is wrapped around it and it is taped in insulated tape and above which multi turn thick copper wire is bounded so and that acts as a secondary winding you can see here this winding ends here and this is what we call it as s1 and s2 and we have seen it in previous slide also and you can zoom it and see here the inside the after the core a insulation cloth is wrapped around it and above that insulation ta tape is wrapped and over it we can see that copper wound coil this is the secondary winding so first layer is core wrapped with insulation cloth and the second layer will be a insulation tape and above that copper winding is wound copper wire is wound so this is what we see in, up to this we saw and in next you can see after removing that winding insulation tape and insulation cloth you will get a structure like this this is the core and this is what we saw in a initial video you can see here it is taped it is actually a single strip that strip is formed like rectangular shape and it is taped like this because to make a lamination structure to avoid stress loss if you zoom it and you can see you will find like this a single strip is bent to make more layers so more the layers stress loss will be less and this is what i said a single strip is made to form as a rectangular shape with multi layers so normally the core is made up made of high permeability material such as silicon steel permalloy and iron based nano crystalline alloy permalloy is nothing but a nickel iron magnetic alloy of which around 80% will be nickel and 20% will be iron so what is the permeability permeability is nothing but a resistance of a material against the formation of magnetic field so you can see here a single strip is folded to form a lamination structure so we will see this uh, in reverse so that we will get an idea how a current transformer is made first the rectangular shape strip of required size is taken and it is folded to make a core of of multi layers and this core after that it is wrapped with insulation cloth and insulation tape and over which the copper winding is wound over it with multi turns and that copper winding will act as a secondary terminals s1 and s2 and after that resin is poured into it so that we will get a outer shell with high mechanical strength okay guys we came to the end of this session today if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe the video and don't forget the press, don't forget to press the bell button next to it and select the options to all so that you will receive all the all the videos whichever i am posting thank you we will see in next video bye take care